We're back for more Zelda, but a very different kind of Zelda card. Okay, and you're playing this time instead of me, yes? Uh, yeah, that's true. I'm like, you know, we're still recording remotely, so I'm the one playing. We're playing Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, and I tried to start the game to go into a menu, and it looks like we get kicked off with a cutscene. Yes! I love so, games do this. Yeah. Let's see this cutscene now. Let's go. Uh, let's go. And yeah, so this is like the fourth Zelda game ever, so it's very traditional, like, Zelda rather than Breath of the Wild style. I've not played many Zelda games. I played Breath of the Wild was the first Zelda game I've ever played. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this. I get easing my toes into this world. Yeah, and a bit rusty on like the Zelda knowledge, but I believe this is like a direct sequel to Link to the Past. So this is what happens straight after Link to the Past. Which I've also not played. Yeah. So great. Either way, fucking deep end. Which is quite thematically appropriate given what's on screen. Oh my god, that <laughs> boat. That, that small boy. What is a small boy to do in this? the ocean itself? Is that fuck you? Thing is, you need a challenge when you've just defeated Ganon himself. Oh, there we go. That is a very classic looking link there. That is, yeah. That's like the super um, floppy haired link. Yeah. This is not a classic looking link. I thought it was Animal Crossing. That's Animal Crossing, that. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Link got wrecked. Shipwrecked, in fact. Oh, oh kidding. It's had a rough day. He got struck by lightning, so he changed to a different person. <laughs> it is really weird that they went for this art style, which is cute and adorable, but then tried to recreate like the anime-esque style of the opening from the Game Boy game. Either way, um, it's God, fine. This looks fucking incredible. It does, yeah. And anyone who says it doesn't, eat a dick. Graphics don't equal um, quality. Like, no. Art style always trumps graphics. I'm a huge proponent of this. Yes. Like that. Oh, what a charming introduction. I feel like it's been, it's been weakened. Like That cutscene actually weakened the effect of that intro. Because mm -hmm. it clashes so much, like you said. Yeah. And I get what they were doing because they went for like a, you know, a remake of that Game Boy cutscene. Mm -hmm. But then, obviously... So in the, it, it goes with the Game Boy game, I guess, of like... Yeah, they had an anime opening, but then, like, just went for, um, obviously, Link, of course. Link, yeah. Um, okay, you can change they obviously had just Game, Game Boy graphics, so it was all pixel work. So I guess it's kind of the same, which I respect. Oh no, he's having a nightmare. Under the covers as well. And this a is um, a recurring trope in most Zelda games, is that Link starts the game asleep. <laughs> just chilling. Just having a bad day. My name is Marin. Because fun fact, Carl, we're not on Hyrule anymore. So you've fallen asleep, and Link's lost his memory, I guess. There we go. Well, I found you. Straight into it. Yeah. Straight well, it was a Game here. Boy game, wasn't it? So it's not too much. Um, not too much for like storytelling and stuff. That's true, yeah. But I just want to talk more about the idea of like um, art style trumping graphics because there probably is like some arsehole out there. This game doesn't look that great. It's like fuck you. Yeah. This game looks incredible. It's like okay, I've I've heard there's a bit of a like, every now and then there's frame rate stutters, but like it doesn't matter like whether it's 4K or whether it looks like fucking Last of Us Two. It's like this is charming as hell. It is, and I will never forget that's that legendary hot take. At least it's legendary to me. <laughs> just the guy, oh, ever since I saw the Unreal 5 de demo, um, I can't look at any game on my PS4 anymore. It's like, you sad bastard. Yeah. Like, how can you look at something like this and not think this looks incredible? This looks so charming and adorable. And it looks so unique. Yeah. It looks like, like a toy. It looks like you're playing with toys right now. It really does, and I've got the Amiibo for this Link's Awakening um, remake, and the the amiibo like just looks like a proper little plastic toy which it, it I, I get it is but yeah it's such a cute little charming art style all of it now, this looks like you're playing with like your little link playset yeah and just that little bit of uh, the vignetting on the edge yes just the little bit of blur presumably like you know to um, help with the frame rate and stuff that's like a tricky that's why if everyone wondered like oh why do uh, games have like uh, the letterbox in. Mm. It's because then if there's less stuff on the screen, there's less stuff needs to be rendered. Exactly, yeah. Also, was that a chomp chomp? Yeah, so uh, this is one of the few games from like the 
the Zelda series that actually references other Nintendo properties. So that's Chomp Chomp. Why is there a Chomp Chomp here? And what's he jump. doing? I will say Chain that. Chomp, sorry. Chain Chomp before you get absolutely roasted. I just call it a Chomp Chomp. A Joe Chomp R. Chomp. I do like so, that. That's adorable. Yeah, I love it. Something out of heart. It's a bit like a big fairy. And I ah. love that Zelda games do that. Of like, oh, I've heard this. I have no fucking clue what that means because I don't know what buttons are. But I've heard if you press these buttons, it works like this. Oh, look at that. These are the fussies. They love it. Blinger is pure, but look at that! Fucking and I've, I've played like the very opening of this game because I have the Game Boy Color cartridge of Link's Awakening DX, which is the Game Boy Color version that came out like when the Game Boy Color did. Oh, it's uh, like a puzzle game. Super. Oh, it's your sword. So I do know the very opening to the game, but I don't know much past that. Who's this wise owl? What's not owl doing again? Oh, he's just called owl. <laughs> yeah, just owl. So God. Uh, Courageous lad has come to wake the wind fish. Right into who's the wind fish? <laughs> you don't need to know, Carl. Well, you need to wake him. You're not allowed to leave unless you wake the wind fish. I love it. I will wait for you there. Thank you, spirit owl. God, so yeah, owl looks um, like flying as, a, as an effort. Like Zelda games are. Especially like 2D Zelda games are very much like puzzle adventure games. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm explaining this to like Carl and other people who may not know, but yeah, it might seem super obvious to some people because Legend of Zelda is a big franchise, but. I've never played this game. Yeah, Carl's only experience Breath of the Wild. Which is more action oriented. It's more an action RPG than it is a puzzle. Mm -hmm. game. With the puzzle bits though, are very fun. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, eat, eat a dick. Give me my rupees. And that music as well. I oh, love it. God, it's so good. And that thing is like, this game is like ripe for a remake. Like it got, like, a, you know, the total, like, full on remake rather than just um, like an up res or whatever. Like the total ground up remake. Yeah, because it did so much with so little on the Game Boy. And I respect this game so much for what it did. Like, you think about this, like this game that had like a full like adventure out of it came on the same machine that had Tetris. Same with Pokemon, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I can't imagine how they got games like this running on such a tiny device. Do you know what it was, Lucas? Nintendo Magic. Yeah. <laughs> it's Nintendo Magic. And I love that Nintendo is the only company where they can say that and people don't make fun of them. Yeah. I don't even have 10 rupees to fish. Do not live a little. Yeah, I'm trying to. But, you know oh, I've got no money. Like, I didn't like tell you about uh, the, the crazy lady uh, was walking down the street. Not no, what about this crazy lady? What's she doing? Uh, so I was just like walking my dog, and like all of a sudden, this old woman started shouting across the street to me, going, "Like, smile! It doesn't cost you anything. Smile! It doesn't cost you anything." And I was like, "Who the?" Fuck are you? And she just kept repeating herself, and I was like, "Oh my god, what is happening right now?" Like, I just yeah. walked away. I was like, "I don't, I don't want to interact with this person." I've had that once or twice. Like it happened to us, uh, me and the missus, we're just walking through town, and someone just yelled at us, "Take the mask off!" It's like, why do you care? Yeah, yeah. How much of a sad bastard are you? That's something that legit bothers you. Oh, you found a seashell. But you don't know what to do. A with secret it. seashell. You don't know what to do with it. Yeah, that's a secret. That's what the secret is. Look at this. This game was awesome. I love it. So, you, you know that you just have to... I'm not going to keep everything. doing this, but just this one time, I'm going to indulge myself and just... And just destroy everything. Get every life. little blade of grass in this little area. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I'm happy now. We've got a few rupees. Uh, but as well, like, speaking of Nintendo Magic, it's a conversation we've had before, but I love that Nintendo as a company, they have that... Um, just mystique about them where they can say something like that and it's not deemed either self-indulgent or just mocked mm -hmm. like when they say it's nintendo magic like yeah it's nintendo magic yeah you just go yep it and is the example i like to use is imagine now um someone from xbox or someone from playstation going on screen um on doing an event so like, oh so how does the six axis work or the what's it called the new one uh 
the new, new one. Thing that, the new thing that the PlayStation controller, the Dual Sense. Oh, the Dual Sense, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so how does the Dual Sense work? And went, ah, that's PlayStation magic. You're like, shut up and tell me the specs of the console. Exactly. Because like when PlayStation say it, it's like, no, I need you to tell me about like, oh, it's haptic feedback and like pulse triggers and shit like this. It's like, yeah, that's how PlayStation come across as a company. But if like Nintendo went out and just went, how do the Switch controllers work? Nintendo magic. You're like, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm sure we'll get like you know the actual explanation in a press release. Well, it's kind there. of similar to when they announced the Joy Cons, isn't it? It wasn't like oh this is a um, like haptic feedback and advanced motors and stuff. It was oh this is HD rumble. What's that mean? Well, it's high def rumble. Okay, got it. Nintendo. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> all you need. It's great, and I love it. Similar to like Disney, where Disney have that like, mystique about them as a production company, and mm -hmm. this is like you know an entertainment giant. Where they can like they hold events to announce to show people trailers for their movies. Yeah, and people get mad hype for them, and then just <laughs> any other company, whenever they try to do it, it, fa it comes across as either desperate or sad. Well, think about that um, that DC fandom that they did, where it's an entire day dedicated to showing off DC stuff, and everyone was and they had nothing like, to uh... show. <laughs> they had nothing to show for it. They had like here's the 85 animated movies we're making because Kevin Conroy is still on that African payroll. Yeah. Uh, here's like a million different Harley Quinn products with it in. And now let's talk about um, Suicide Squad, the game that's not coming out for two years for like an hour and a half. It's like, okay. Yeah, it's great. And to say, it just comes across, it just reeks of desperation mm -hmm. and like trying to play catch up. And it's the same thing, I think, if a, if a gaming company tried to, like, you know, just eke into Nintendo space and because, like, you know, the, the charming, just um, very. Just like player orientated nature of their presentations. Yeah, yeah. So, like, can you imagine any other like gaming company getting away with like, here's a 20 minute um, presentation in the middle of our E3 sizzle reel of guys talking about wall? Yeah. <laughs> or, like, could anyone else get away with doing that, like, puppet Star Fox E3? Like, no. Anyone else should be like, what the fuck is PlayStation or Xbox doing? Just show me the trailer for the new God of War game. Oh it's my like, word. Or even just having like the director of the game. Like Smash Bros. Yeah. I think it's great where you have the director of the game filming a 40 minute video in his house of him playing the new character and everyone's like, I wish these were four hours long. <laughs> yeah. But like you do it with any other game or any other like series and can you imagine like the only one I think is like Tekken with Harada, mm. where he always tries, like, you know, he's trying to become a personality. But even then, like, I really don't like that because he's very abrasive. Yeah, also, yeah. Tekken's not very good anymore. <laughs> and like, the stuff that he gets angry about is stuff that people legit want to complain. It's like, oh, like, when you're putting rollback netcode into Tekken because the online sucks, we're not. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't know what to do with this guy. Luke's used to run away. Just run. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Luke's on your face. <laughs> Just stop. Please get off my face. I got heart. Keep the grass. So these but, guys, oh, I, see, I, see. I don't mind. These. Oh. I got that jab. Nice. One little jab. Get it. So, little Link is all straight into it. He's been awake for five minutes. He's already killed like six <laughs> things. Yeah. Oh. So I'm presuming we need like a jump item. Maybe. Oh, oh, look at a little jelly bean. Rock. Little jelly bean. Yeah. That's going to electrocute me. I'm not doing it. it is. I can see it. I'm, I'm not Ooh. doing it, Carl. I know. All these rocks. Push the rocks into the hole. Can I push rocks with this? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Damn. Oh, look at the little like, exertion face. Yeah. Like, eh, eh. He's trying his best. Like, Ugh. We all know as well that modern Link could do. Breath of the Wild Link could lift that up. Well, Breath of the Wild Link swings around like the cobble crusher, like it's he absolutely nothing. Luke's eats rocks. Oh my god! I guess I guess go into this haunted like um, timber and shit. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Oh, cool! This oh, song's awesome. Dun, 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 dun. Double, double, toil and trouble. Toastal mix powder for tricks. Yeah. What we got? Huh? Oh. Is that it? Anything? Maybe go get Toll Soul Forest. Speak to the little ray. Look at the little ray. Look at it. It's adorable. Little ray. Yeah. Uh, we might need to light the other thing on fire. Aha. Uh -huh. You do. Have you got like a wooden sword or anything? We haven't got anything. Damn. Have you seen that thing as well? Like, um, like, do I have Newton all that bollocks? 
It's yep. not actually the Eye of Newt. That was just the name they had for a specific kind of plant. Oh. That's what that means. Like, Eye of Newt is just the name they gave to, like, a kind of flower. Oh, right, okay. Because they like, they're making potions and shit. Oh, so there's honest. no actual eyes involved? Not really, no. What about all those, like, floating eyes in the, in the, the cauldron that we've got? Where does that come from? I don't know. Artistic license, maybe. <laughs> Could it? Yeah, it's having a great day. What's it like being a chew? I don't know what they a... are, because I assume they were chews, and then, like, that other actual chew shoe came out, and I'm like, hmm. So we know a few of the enemies, and we know the uh, the enemy types that are in Breath of the Wild. So if I get them wrong, please um, uh, forgive me. Yeah, yeah, leave, leave Carby. Oh god. I, I hope Zelda fans don't like give me a bunch of shit for it. I'm trying my best. I've heard that you know fans of video games are really, really uh, lenient with things like that, Carl. Yeah, they're really welcoming to new players who <laughs> yeah. want to just experience the world. I still remember like when one of our friends tried to get me into Dota. And the start of every match was, we're trying to teach our friend who doesn't know how to play the game. And then it's, oh, cool, cool, like, well done getting someone new in. And then three minutes later, it's like, oh my god, fuck you, you don't know how to play, you're absolute trash. It's like, right, okay, yeah. Cool. Got it. Oh, no! Mm. I can't push it either. Maybe you can... It says you can walk on the cracks, just don't get too comfortable. Oh, oh, bro! There we go. We pushed a little rocket. Ah, yes. there we go. Yes. What we got? Will it make the noise? Yeah. Of course it does. Hell yeah. Oh, like, I love as well the games telling you good job. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. Like, I love stuff like that. Oh, like, okay. So you we can run game. across them, but just don't stop. Don't stop. So there'll, presumably there'll be enemies on them at later points in the game. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 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 So I guess push that one down. There we go. And then down again. There it is. Then that mm. one to the right. Perfect. And then a right again. There we go. No, oh, you can only push them once. Yeah, they can be pushed once, can't they? Hmm. We blocked ourselves in here, Carl. But you can you can leave and come back. So go down and then come back in. It'll reset them all, presumably. There we go. Oh no, it pushed you right back at the start. Oh yeah, because it's the mysterious forest. Oh no. It oh no. Okay. okay. Hmm. So we must have to get in through the top right. Yes, clearly. Just try pushing some stuff. See what happens. Yeah. So now we now we know we can reset it. You can experiment. That's true. It's an early game puzzle. Hmm. I'm presuming, yeah, we can't. Yeah. Ting, 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 ting. No. no. Eh. Can we grab it? Can't be pulled, can it? it can only be pushed. Oh. Maybe leave that the other way. Oh, can you lift that? No. So maybe it's, again, we need to... Get like the I, I reckon this can be done. I'd give it one more go. Okay, we'll we'll try but one I'd, more. Maybe try going through the right. Let's have a look. Hmm. It needs to be pushed down. Hmm. Which I think. Hmm. Like we've been quiet now because I'm thinking. Yeah, like sorry about this, guys. Like this is. The puzzle aspect, isn't it? Of like, hmm, hmm, how do we figure this one out? I don't think we can. I feel like Pushed. we need to lift up those those stone Maybe. blocks. Maybe it's like a trick to like fool you. Hmm. Because this will yeah, happen a lot through the game of like teasing you of things to come. Either way, like we don't we don't need a life bar too quickly. Run, no. Run, run, run. Get all oh, the mushroom. The shiny mushroom. Going. I'm going for it. What's this do? She wanted a toadstool, didn't she? Oh, yes. She was talking about wanting a second toadstool. You got that. Yeah. So you got to go back to the mysterious cave. On. Sneak up on the mob. There yes, we go. Can. Oh, yeah. get wrecked. That's why I'm the hero, baby. This is when it's like trapped us in from this side. Like, no, you can get through this way easy. Push the top one. There we go. Oh yeah, of course enemies respawn. 
No, we forgot about that. <laughs> run, Link, run! Look at him! <laughs> all all, re respect to Link for like, the full 180 degree coverage on his swing. Oh, God. That's a hell of a swing. Look at it. Never gets tired either. No, of course he doesn't. Like, there's no, no stammer in this one, Carl. Okay. So, what do you think is canonically the strongest version of Link? Uh, I mean, that I'm piece of power. almost certain that it has to be Breath of the Wild Link. Just because of how much shit he can do? Yeah. Like, that man is just climbing mountains. Oh, like wait, power? Does that mean he can lift stuff up now? Oh, shit. Like, run back into the cave. Oh, the music's speeding up. So that was like a random drop, wasn't it? Yeah. And does that give you the ability to move things quickly? Yes, it does. No. Uh, 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 no. Uh. Like, run. No! Ah! So that's like a random drop thing. Does that give you the ability to move things that you couldn't? Potentially, yes. Yeah. I didn't think about oh, that God, for those, a minute then. Those bats. Those bats are giving you the business. And we were actually uh, close enough as well. We could have done that. We could oh, have well. done we live and learn, Carl. We live and learn. I reckon as well, puzzle games for a viewer must be one of the more infuriating things to watch. Well, yeah, like, I've, um, so I've listened to, like, people talk is. about how, oh, writing guides for, like, games with puzzles in them before, like, because you can't look up the solution. You're the one writing the solution. <laughs> so you have to figure it out. Oh, man, that must be infuriating. But I reckon watching it is worse because you know what the solution is. Hmm. No, you just don't want to talk to that glowing fairy then. Uh, we did earlier and she was basically oh, okay. like, oh, if you've got any problems, come back to me. That we have got problems. Me. We can't move these giant ass rocks. <laughs> it must be like a unique thing of just, I know what the solution to this problem is, but you don't. Yeah. But at the same time, it's really funny to annoy those kind of people. <laughs> and they're my favourite kind of people just to piss off. Oh my god, we're being outblocked by this. Look at that, <laughs> outmaneuvered. Oh let's, see, let's give her a toadstool. we got a toadstool for you. Here we go. The sleepy toadstool. It has. Like, oh, we've got a name. Ling, come on. Look at that rat, it's having a great time. What have we got? I hope it's like a power potion. Magic powder. Magic powder. Ooh. That's very descriptive, just magic powder. Just, yeah, it has magical, magical effects. effects. Well, I guess try it out, see what it does. Like, can you talk to her? It's like, will she give you a description of what it does? 50 rupees. Oh no, I didn't want to do that, no! Oh, and it refilled it, so you only got one. Oh, you only, you only restored one. That. Ooh. Use the enemies. Pick some new toadstools and I'll make you more. Ah, okay, so if you've got a toadstool, you can have it for free. Yeah. Can we try it on the rat? Oh. No. So it just has various effects. I guess so, yeah. It just has magical properties, and I love the fact that the game's like, figure it out. It's a puzzle game. Yeah. Experiment. Throw it on that thing, see what it does. Oh, me. Now the rule is, like, the first enemy is like, oh. <laughs> oh, it looks like a bean from Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> yeah, it does. Was that one of the beans? Throw it on this dude. Ah, oh, dang, you missed. No. Oh my god, that, 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 so it's okay. one hit kill. But then again, your sword's a one hit kill. I guess that's your way to kill the so um, shield ones. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, it doesn't work on objects, so you can't throw it on the rock or like that. Look at that. No. No. Ugh. Those dodgers from that shoe, though, man. <laughs> Just dodging them out. Oh, the powerful shoe. Well. No. So, I guess go back the way we came. This walk animation is incredible. Oh. That's just Link's little boy trot. I love it. So, so you've like been that... to her again. Like, now you've got magic powers. Get rid of all that stress. That's a really good power. Yeah. I could go for some of that right now. <laughs> like, there is a knot in my back that's been there I think, since like March last year. <laughs> Here's some I'm magic power. Oh, no. Oh, shit, I missed. Oh, I blocked oh, the blocked magic it. powder. No. Run. Run. Lucas is the strongest enemy in the game. Yeah. 
the like moblin that can stop magic. What do we do? Powerful. So far, there doesn't appear to be any enemy worth using it on because they can all just die by one hit from your sword. Yeah, that's the thing. The spin attack is like a double hit. So it's just taking these moblins out like nothing anyway. So as long as you walk around with it fully charged, oh, the dodge. That was like terrifying to the enemy. <laughs> so I remember I told you about when I was playing like Rainbow Six with a mate of mine. And like Rainbow Six Vegas on Terrorist Hunt playing co op. And he, me and him, like we love that game mode. Oh, beautiful. And what happened was I died when there was one terrorist left, and my friend just went for Carl, whipped out a desert eagle, and ran towards the last terrorist <laughs> who was firing a, had a burst fire machine gun. But my friend just walked to the side once, dodged the first shot, walked to the side again, dodged the second shot, walked to the side again, dodged the third shot, got right next to the guy and put the desert eagle in his chest, pulled the trigger, and just down it went, mission completed. And it was the most heroic thing I have ever seen of just. For Carl, pulls out a desert eagle and just dodges point blank range gunfire <laughs> as he's sprinting towards a terrorist. I just want to know what that terrorist thought as he sees this, just sees this man That's sprinting some anime towards shit, him. Isn't it? Just dodging every bullet as it comes towards you. But if anyone's ever played Rainbow Six Vegas, they know how fucking slow that game is. Yeah, yeah. That game is just like crushingly slow. And we're not talking like Call of Duty stuff here. This is like a man slowly walking towards you with a pistol down, drawn. Yeah. Got in. We block the attack weakness. and then we can uh, like leave them open for a second. It's that parry shit. So go on, back into the uh, strongest version of Link. You said like Breath of the Wild Link, without a doubt. Uh, not without thinking? a doubt. It's like um, the gauntlets in Ocarina of Time let Link from that game just pick up like slabs of what looks like fucking marble. And they are, when I say, oh what? no, it fell down. When I say slabs, I mean like pillars that are a hundred foot tall of like, just solid marble. Like the ones you see, like the Parthenon or something like that. Okay, yeah, fair and enough. he picks it up and launches it like 50 foot behind him. So I'm thinking like Breath of the Wild Link does have access to like control over time and ice. That's the thing, yeah. Like, so many it's like, is controlling time better than being really, really strong? Because it doesn't really matter how strong you are if the other person can just stop time. Exactly. But would that work on another version of Link? Because Link's good and it only works on evil. Uh, well, no, the, uh, like, stasis, for example, works on fucking everything, doesn't it? But it doesn't work on animals. So I remember doing that, I tried to work it on, like, animals and wildlife. It doesn't work on anything like that, does it? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, the fairy's back. Yeah, so this is, like, the mysterious forest. It's, if you get lost, you get fucking lost. And it resets your position. So maybe go back and go to like the beach or something. You feel, I feel like you've explored this area a little bit. I feel like I need to go roadblocks. down this way. Yes, like there's too many roadblocks stopping you. Clearly there's an ability that you need. Oh, ah! Just get the fuck off me! Like they're on your face, like just in your grill. So I, I think the way to go is to get through this mysterious forest, but it's like the maze of a forest. <gasps> He, he was trying to jab you into the he hole. Like, I, re I respect that tactic. Like That's like down. legend people in For Honor. Which is, oh, yeah. don't even like bother arguing. It's the best tactic in the game. And every now and again, I boot up For Honor just to throw people off the edge and just look <laughs> at the salt that you get. I've seen some of the messages you get from that as well. It's great. Because the amount of people like you're not playing the game properly, it's like, I won. Yeah. How am I not playing the game properly? I won. A win's a win. Oh, my favourite one is people send you a message saying you've got no honour. It's like, like, I give a shit, I won. <laughs> like, as well, it's a game with Vikings in it. It's like, do you think the Vikings cared about honour? Yeah. Like, if a Viking saw an opportunity to like, suplex someone off a ledge, they'd fucking take it. <laughs> they definitely when they take got, it. Because when they got to Valhalla, everyone's like, that was awesome. Right, yeah, so that's looking all this way. Yeah, you want to go back to where you started. Mm. Like, back to the beach, maybe try a different location. I'm oh, sorry, a different direction to go in, because... You are seemingly just stopped in place by these little rockies. Mm -hmm. So if you can head back to the village where you were, maybe talk to some people there, get the lay of the land. Well, it says you that, kind um, of like, like uh, Malin's dad went down into the forest, so it does seem to be pushing me that way. There's so many things like stopping you from getting in here. It's like you've already been in here. This is a yeah, and then block. I go out the other side, and it was a, a blockade. Yeah, because you can't move the rocks. 
Get him, stop him. He's dead. It's his power. Power on this lab. Get him. Ting. You should better deflect it. Like, it is weird that you can't knock it back unless you've got to do, like, perfect timing on it. Or it'll be a later ability. Yeah. It's like Breath of the Wild Link deflecting, like, what, building-sized lancers of pure energy being launched at his face. Oh, my God, no. Nah. Yeah, I was trying to get, like, a parry timing on it, but it didn't seem to work. be working. I mean, ability you get later in the game, you don't know. Like, Breath of the Wild Link might have, like, spoils on that one. Marbe Village. Yeah. Maybe there's some stuff, like, talk to some peeps. Let's go back and talk to, uh, good old Aunt Mallet here. Marin? Marin? Give you some advice. Oh, the chicken. The chicken god. Marin. Went to the forest to look for toadstool, but I'd rather sing. The Ballad of the Windfish. Oh yeah. 